the next step is to set up our conversion tracking. So to do that, we're just going to click on tools and settings. We're going to go to conversions and we're going to click this plus sign. So we have a selection here and what conversion tracking allows us to do is see how many people have carried out those one of those important actions that indicates that we've generated a new lead or a new client or a new sale because ultimately that's what we're trying to achieve with our campaign. So it's essential we have conversion tracking to see which keywords and which ads are generating new sales because without that data really we're flying blind conversions are the lifeblood of a google ads campaign without them we're not really sure what's working and what's not so if for example you have a form on your website um and that when somebody fills that out it counts as an inquiry then you would select the first option website if you also have a phone number on your website and um somebody calling that phone number counts as a lead or an inquiry or potentially a sale then you can select phone calls and you can set these both up if they're both applicable so let's start firstly with website so we're just going to click on that and then for category we're going to select submit lead form um the conversion name's already been filled out for us um we can set a conversion value for example if you have an estimate or you know on average that when a phone call is made it translates into x amount of dollars of business for you you can enter that here uh, or you can add, add, uh, add in a nominal amount now you can always change this at any point so um we can always come back to that for count um it depends on whether we want a single person filling out that form to count as one conversion. Now, if that person, um, if we select every, then if that person fills out the form multiple times, that'll be tracked as multiple conversions. If we select one, then if that person fills out the form multiple times or they load uh, the confirmation page multiple times, it will still be tracked as one conversion. So for most businesses, I would recommend selecting one. Um, then you've got conversion window. Um, that is the length of time after somebody's clicked an ad that it can be counted as a conversion if they carry out the action we're tracking, such as filling out the form. So 30 days is the default, and that's what I'd recommend for most businesses. You can always adjust that at a later point if you want to, if you want to extend that window. Um, you want to definitely have yes for including conversions. Attribution model, we could, uh, discuss that at length on which attribution model you want to be using. Um, I'll be creating videos around attribution model, so you can learn more about that. Always come back and change that. Um, but for the time being, it's fine to leave that as last click. So then you create, uh, click create and continue. Um, I'm just going to put in one here just uh, to change that name. Create and continue. And then we're going to select install the tag yourself. Um, you can also email it to your developer um, if you have a developer that handles everything for you um, and you're going to be given two different scripts here one is a global site tag which ideally should go on every single page on your website similar to a google analytics tag um, but the only essential page it needs to go on is the confirmation page that somebody is going to end up at after filling out your contact form or your inquiry form. Um, so it's the thank you page or um, which, whatever page they get redirected to after filling out that form. Now, the other script, which is essential to go on that page and only that page. So this, this should certainly only go on the confirmation page or the thank you page is the event snippet. Um, and the way this works is every time somebody visits that page after filling out the form, um, or visits this uh, page after clicking the ad, um, it will be tracked as a conversion. So we want to make sure that this um they're entered in this order so first this code and then below it this code and these codes should be placed just above the closing head tag of your web page um, of your confirmation page so we can actually look at an example here so this is the landing page for this particular client and if you want to view if the 
code has been entered correctly by your developer or or if you correct it, uh, entered it correctly yourself you can go here to view page source that'll open a new window and we can see here an example here's the script entered in and we can see just below here's the closing head tag so we've got these this script in where it needs to be below the closing head tag now another useful tool you can use is the tag assistant um, Google Tag Assistant. This is free to download and it will indicate which tags you have on your page. So we can see the Google Ads conversion tracking code here and we can see the, the code number here. Uh, and a little smiley face to show you you've done it correctly. So um, that's uh, useful to use. Now I'm just going to close out of this because I don't want to set up that conversion action. And what we can do here is also set up a web call conversion. Um, so we can just go ahead and go through that process also. So you can set up a call conversion for the phone number that's placed within your call extension. So we're going to discuss that later, but that's a phone number that goes directly in your ad. If somebody calls that, then we can track that within Google ads. So you can select that one. Now, if you also have a, um, phone number on your website, and if somebody calls that number, it's a lead for your business, then you want to also be tracking that. And the way that will work is a dynamic number will be inserted on your website automatically by a script, and this will allow us to track those conversions. So to do that, you just um, select calls to a phone number on your website, click continue. Here we can just type in a name like web calls. And um, again, you can put in an amount, one call, and then create and continue, install the tag. And then again, you've got a global site tag. You may have already added this um, if you've set up another conversion action. Otherwise you can add this in. And then what's useful here is you can put in your phone number and it'll add it automatically to the script. So we're just gonna type in a dummy number here. and create snippet. And so this will create the snippet that needs to go again, just before the closing head tag of your page. And we wanna make sure that we add the phone number in here exactly as it appears on your website. Because what the script is gonna do is it gonna, it's gonna swap that number for a dynamic number each and every time somebody clicks an ad and visits your page. So it's only gonna switch that number for that particular user. It won't do it from traffic that you generate organically or from uh, email campaign, for example. It's only gonna be done from Google Ads. And this means that we're gonna be tracking when somebody calls that dynamic number and gets redirected to your actual phone number. And we're gonna be able to see how many phone calls have come as a result of your advertising campaign. So both of these, um, forms of conversion tracking are very useful and um, are going to be essential for ongoing optimization and improving the performance of your campaign. So make sure you set up conversion tracking. So I hope you found that video useful. If so, please give the video a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like any additional advice or tips on managing your marketing campaigns, then please subscribe to my channel for additional videos. And thank you for watching.